installation of top discharge outdoor unit. An appropriate position should be chosen before the installation of split air conditioner. Here are some inappropriate positions of installation. Ventilation is poor and there are obstacles around, which may affect airflow. Position where flammable, explosive or corrosive gas may leaks. It is recommended that customized anti-corrosion air conditioner for the area like Seaside where corrosion is strong. It is recommended to build shelters above the outdoor unit in the area with heavy snow or heavy rain. Fix the outdoor unit. Put the outdoor unit on a tough, flat surface. The fixing accessory is not standard with the outdoor unit. It is recommended to use L-type fixing accessories to fix the outdoor unit to avoid vibration and noise. Confirm the positions of expansion bolts with the fixing accessories. Drill holes for expansion bolts. Insert the expansion bolts. Mount the fixing accessory on the unit with screws. Fix the nuts to ensure the stability of the outdoor unit. Pipe connection. Connect the pipes on outdoor unit side first, then the indoor unit side. Top discharge outdoor units are equipped with special valves which are to be welded with the connection pipes. Check the valves and connection pipes carefully before welding work. Flush them with nitrogen if necessary. Pull down insulation tube to keep it at least 30 centimeters away from the welding position to avoid damage from the high temperature. Make a piece of wet cloth, cover the valves to protect the seal parts of inner cores from high temperature generated by welding flame. Insert the pipes into the connectors of valves and start weld operation. It is recommended to protect the welding work by charging nitrogen. Check the weld seam. It should be clean, continuous and well distributed. The broken or overheat cannot be accepted. Wiring work. Release four screws to remove the cover of electrical control box. Connection is conducted corresponding to identifier with reference to wiring diagram. Attention should be paid that mode of connection should correspond with indoor site. Incorrect wiring may result in damage to the electrical control board. When threading the wire, pay attention to maintain suitable curvature and the wire shall not be pulled too straight. Pull the wire back moderately to make sure the connection is secure. Mount the cover of electrical control box. Connect the pipes and cable to indoor unit. Vacuum work. Connect the vacuum pump and pressure gouge on the service port of valve. Start the pump to vacuum and fully open the valve of pressure gouge. Check if the reading goes down to negative value. 15 minutes later, when pressure gouge reading is minus 0.1 megapascals, close the low pressure valve of pressure gouge fully. Turn off the vacuum pump. After five minutes, check the indicating of pressure gouge. It should have no change. Fully open the inner cores of both valves. Leak detection. Leak detector detection. Probe moves around weld junction at slow and uniform speed of 2 to 5 centimeters a second. And the probe is kept at the length of 0.04 to 0.2 inches away from the weld junction. It turns one lap around the valve ports of high pressure valve and low pressure valve respectively. If leak alarm occurs, remove probe for retesting and confirmation. Soapy water detection. Apply soapy water, washing powder is inapplicable, of high concentration to all interfaces of welding points with brush or cloth. Then observe it for two to three minutes. Repeat this as needed. If bubbles emerge, there is a leakage. You should cut out the pipes and re-weld them again. 
finish the installation. Cover the pipes and the weld joints with insulation pipes and band them with tape as well as the connection cable and power cable.